as I always say, whenever Joe Burrow talks, he talks with swiftness, he talks with meaning, and he says what he means. And that's why I love Joe Burrow and why he's so amazing is because the guy doesn't bullcrap around. He gets right to the point and he says how he feels. Well, as you guys know, Travis Kelsey and Jason Kelsey had a live show with Joe Burrow. They also had a live show with Lando Brown Jr. And they asked him some questions. And the question that they asked him was about the rivalry between the Chiefs and the Bengals. Obviously, you know, a very interesting rivalry. You know, some players... I feel like for most parts, the players do have mutual respect for one another. Obviously, you know, with a team that actually can beat the Chiefs, nobody else can. Especially beat them in the big game, in the, in the biggest moment. No one else can, which you got to give the Chiefs credit for that. I mean, they are the best team in the NFL for a reason. I mean, it's to a point now where it's impossible to beat them for any other team other than us. So... It makes sense, right? It makes sense at the end of the day that, you know, they're as cocky as they are. I will say their fans are a lot worse than the actual team is. Like, their team isn't as bad as their fans can be. <laughs> Again, I know every time I talk about them, I get a thousand comments from Chiefs fans yelling at me. Anyway, though, so, it's... I don't really think their actual team is as bad as their fans are. That's what I'm trying to say. So, let's talk about what Joe Burrow said about the rivalry between the Chiefs and Bengals. He said, we both work really hard at what we do. We got great players. Uh, we are, wait, we have got great players. Wait, so they got great players. We got great players. So, I cannot read today for some reason. I think we match up pretty well with them. We're kind of built to beat them. And that is the quote that is being took and ran with all of the media. I've seen so many places today where that is being posted. And listen, at the end of the day, yeah. Being the only team that can actually go against this in a way superpower in the Kansas City Chiefs and beat them. Yeah, we are built to beat them. Like how we play football beats their team. You know, I'm... Um, other than us not protecting our quarterback, if we can protect our quarterback, we can go one-on-one -on -one with Patrick Mahomes. If Joe Burrow is fully healthy, he can go one-on-one -on -one with Patty Mahomes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Our defense can shut down Patrick Mahomes. Lou Anarumo can game plan against Patrick Mahomes and shut him down for most of the game. We did it last year when we had Jake Browning at quarterback. So... Again, what he's saying is actually very accurate that, again, I feel like no other team in the NFL is built like us to actually stop this team. Sad part is we have to protect Joe Burrow. We have to go ahead and keep him upright because if not, we're not going to be able to beat the Chiefs because the Chiefs are going to have that ability to go against a backup quarterback. Joe is 3-1 versus the Chiefs. Jake Browning is 0-1. You, you can't have Jake Browning in there. You got to keep that number nine upright. And that's the only way you, anyone's going to stop this Ch Kansas City Chiefs superpower is by literally Joe Burrow being healthy. He said both teams have big uh, players on defense, big time defensive lines. So it makes for a great matchup. Yeah, it's kind of ironic too because like, no, I, I was going to say, I feel like we have a better defensive line, but at the same time, no, they have a really great defensive line. They have, um, what's his name? They have, obviously, Chris Jones, who freaking is an animal. They also have, okay, I'm going to have to look this up real fast because I always say his name incorrectly. And I'm not, you know what, surprisingly enough, Chiefs fans, this is not a video of me disrespecting you guys or talking trash on you guys. It's actually not. Um, if anything, I called you guys superpower like 74 times in this video. But I, I want to go ahead and make sure I actually say your names correctly. George Kolafkis. He was actually really good. Felix is also really good. He's a rookie last year. Uh, they have Charles at the right end position. Obviously, they have Chris Jones. Like, they have a really good defensive line. And obviously, I feel like we have a great defensive line too with Trey Hendrickson, Sam Hubbard. We lost DJ Reader, which is a huge loss for us. But we still got BJ Hill. Now we got Sheldon Rankins. 
Um, and we're probably going to take Johnny Newton in the first round. So that's good. Or Byron Murphy, the second in the first round. So that gives us another defensive tackle. So yeah, we both have really great defenses in general. And listen, at the end of the day, it's going to be a great rivalry for the next so many years. I think we play them for the next two years in a row. We play them. And then I think we get one year off and then we play them the next year. So... It's going to be almost every single year we're going to be playing the Chiefs in the regular season. Because it sells tickets. People like to see it. People like to go to these type of games. And then obviously the playoffs as well. So Chiefs, get ready. Because we're, we're fixing this offensive line, okay? We're fixing this offensive line. As long as we get this offensive line to protect Joe out there and avoid him from being on his butt. Your superpower is coming to an end. Peace out.